Padawan. I heard you've begun your trials. Master Orgus speaks very highly of you. No doubt you're pleased to have come this far. But some Jedi have the ability to do more, help more people. Interested? What's involved in this assignment? A war is brewing in the greater galaxy. The Sith Empire plots against the Republic, and the Republic looks to the Jedi for aid. But not all who train to become Jedi are skilled combatants and leaders. Many are scholars, diplomats, strategists, and scientists. Which is why we've created a simulation to test Jedi and Padawans and certify them to lead Republic troops. You want me to participate in the simulation? That's what I'm asking. The droids here in the yard have been programmed to act according to Imperial military protocols and battlefield tactics. Demonstrate your proficiency at defeating these droids, and you will be on your way to qualifying to lead Republic troops into battle. Can you do it? This is almost going to be too easy for me. Excellent. The first set of training droids are ready for you. Get to it. I'm impressed. Hopefully we'll have something more challenging for you soon. Peace unto you, friend. I bear word from the Masters of the Temple. Will you take a moment and hear my message? By all means, my friend. Let us talk. You do me great honor. Your present mission is all important, but the Masters want to make sure you do not miss what the Temple has to offer. When you have time, see Master Mojida. He will guide you in the other skills of the Jedi. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. We can spar any time. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a comm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders, and a force user armed with a lightsaber. It must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you alright? Don't worry about me. I admire your composure, but have you truly searched your feelings about this? Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. The man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the Council Chambers. I searched the temple archives. This force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. The enemy I faced wanted to destroy the Jedi Order. Can't get much darker than that. Well, that brightened up the room. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The Temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. I think you've been misinformed. We clearly underestimated the natives. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. 
The Force is strong in her. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. It will be a privilege. Don't get too excited. You're in for some hard work. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. Have you always felt this way about your fellow masters? Don't misunderstand. They're good people. I just prefer to get things done. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I get the impression you haven't had a Padawan for years. Why did you ask to train me? As Jedi, you learn to trust your instincts. When I met you in that cave, my instincts told me that I was meant to train you. I don't know why or for what purpose, but the Living Force brought us together for a reason. I look forward to learning from you. I expect you have things to teach me as well. Let's get to work. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally, but frankly, we need them. The Republic shouldn't be telling the Jedi what to do. Forgot how impressionable Padawans can be. Remember, Jedi exist to serve the Republic, even when we disagree. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. Anything you can tell me about the Twi'lek leader? Where it is, she's not our biggest fan. You may have to convince her otherwise. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you.